Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about February February 3rd, uh, League of Legends DFS slate. Um, it's another four-game slate. Um, sorry for the delayed um, video. Um, I had something come up. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's, without any further ado, let's dive in. Uh, we did pretty good yesterday, so yeah, let's, let's continue the hot streak. Um, but with LGD versus AL and Ultra Prime versus FPX, we have four of the shittiest teams in China playing against each other. So that's why the odds are really close. I mean, all, all of these four teams are really, really bad. Um, but I do have pretty strong lanes on, on these matchups, um, and then in Korea, it's Kwangdong Freaks versus KT Rolster. And then Lift Sandbox versus Gen G. Um, I'll talk about Gen G later and you know, as the last matchup, but you know, after that, after coming off of the huge win against Damwon or I guess D plus Kia, um, this could be a letdown spot for Gen G, but I'll tell you why Sandbox does not make a good GPP play. Uh, either way. So yeah, let's dive in. LGD versus ALO. If you please, um, if you like the video, if you like our contents, please, please hit the like button below. That would be appreciated. Um, otherwise, also subscribe uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, you know, our channel produces a lot of videos about other sports as well. So check those out when you when you can. Okay, thank you. All right, so here are my notes. These are preliminary notes, and we can kind of fill them as we go. Um, but we have LGD against AL, as mentioned. Both teams are shit. Like, you see these rosters, and you see who are these players. Like, except for maybe Meteor, Hai Chao, you saw him last year, and LPC, but Jin, Jin Zhao, I mean. But for LGD, that's a really bad roster. And then anyone's legend... And you guys know I'm high on Xiao Hao. Um, he is up and coming jungler for me. Um, I like him quite a bit. Um, from last season as well. Um, and Betty obviously is a good player for anyone's legend. Um, so you see where I'm kind of leaning as well. But you know, I did look at the stats, and the stats support that um anyone's legend has a stronger jungle control percentage. Um, but also in the bottom lane with Betty and Sword Art. I'm a little worried about pins in the in the mid lane against Hai Chao, but Hai Chao is not that much of a threat either. And in the top lane, I actually give advantage advantage to ZDZ as well. So I think AL wins here. I'm pretty confident, actually. Um, I think LGD has been playing like one of the worst teams in the LPL for a while, even more than Team WE, who went uh, winless <laughs> in series last season or one of the sp splits, I guess. Um, I just feel like LGD does not really have what it takes to win, win a series. I just feel like, I mean, they, I can see them like pull off of a, pull off a win in a series, but in a best of five series, I mean, best of three series, I just think Xiao Hao and Betty will be too much for LGD. And I think anyone's legend should be able to pull this off pretty handedly. Um, over LGD. So I don't think I'm going to have any LGD and maybe that just makes it <laughs> makes LGD a good beverage play. But, you know, for what it's worth, I think I'm going to be take a strong lean on anyone's legend today. And the kill upside is actually pretty, pretty good um, compared to other matchups on the slate. Um, total kills over under is set at 25 and combined kills per minute is set at uh, point average at uh, 0.68. So that's where it's at. And then second matchup in China is Ultra Prime versus FPX. I always chuckle at that picture for the mid laner for Ultra Prime, <laughs> his beard. Um, but he actually has been a liability, in my opinion, for Ultra Prime in certain spots. But, you know, I think Ning is actually has been just as bad for Ultra Prime. Their jungle control percentage is so bad, guys. Like, I just feel like I don't know where they're going to go from here, even though they, despite the fact that they won their last series, I'm not hugely impressed. I know Doggo had the game of his life 
maybe that will get him going. But he's been horrible throughout last season and then this this split so far, except for the last series. So maybe this is a start of maybe the momentum there. But I don't know if they can do that against FPX. I think FPX is also a shit team. Like, I mean, but they have some returning players from Shaolau Hu to Care and LWX. And then Hacker obviously has been a serviceable jungler in the LPL for a while. And compared to like Ning, Chang, and Harry, like, I just feel like FPX has a better roster. And FPX has a better jungle control percentage, as mentioned. Ning for Ultra Prime has been pretty bad. So I just feel like that gives FPX an advantage. And now is LWX and Lele going to feed Doggo and Baolan like, like the opponent did in Ultra Prime's last series? I don't think so. I think they will be okay. I mean, LWX is experienced. Um, so I just feel like I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm not going to bank on Doggo have another good series again like that. Um, so I'm going to go with FPX, but I'm not as confident in FPX winning this series um, compared to anyone's legend beating LGD in that earlier uh, series or matchup that I just talked about. So I think I may have some Ultra Prime stacks. We'll see. Uh, maybe people will see that Ultra Prime win, win their last matchup, and then maybe they'll get on board with that. I mean, there are a lot of game log <laughs> watchers um, that are DFS players, uh, you know, for esports especially. So, I mean, that can happen. I think that will maybe boost up the ownership for Ultra Prime as an underdog, but I think I'm going to go have a lot more exposure on FPX compared to Ultra Prime. All right, in Korea, though, it's KDF versus KT. Um, it's a pretty easy matchup to analyze, but then, you know, who knows what's going to happen after eh, eh, Hanwha Life beat T1 last night. Um, I, I didn't really see it coming, but after the picks and bans throughout the series, T1, I think, trolled a little too much. I think they underestimated Hanwha Life's um, skill sets and uh ceiling i mean obviously hanwha life has rocket roster and i feel like that could happen here but kdf's roster does not you know uh have that ceiling have that upside that hanwha life has against t1 at t against t1 today uh well this morning i think kdf i mean i see dudu maybe young j maybe like carry a game but I don't see any of the Bulldog, Taeyun, and Moham, the bottom half of that uh, map, you know, carrying that team to a victory over BDD, Aiming, and Lahens. I think those guys are all very experienced, BDD, Aiming, and Lahens, and Keen in the top lane, obviously. So I don't think that's going to let, he's going to let Dudu, you know, roll over him. So um, KDF has been the worst team by far, statistical, st both statistically, but also by eye test. So I think KT is going to win this matchup pretty easily. Um, but the kill upside is actually not that great. So it's it's a completely fadeable matchup um, from the DFS standpoint. Maybe use KT in the team slot if you want to differentiate your lineup from other lineups, other like chalky lineups or three stacks. But, you know, for what it's worth, that that's where KT stands. I think KT should win this matchup pretty easily, but the kill upside is low. And the last matchup on the slate is Lift Sandbox versus Gen G. As mentioned earlier, Gen G came off, is coming off of a huge win against D plus uh, Kia. Um, obviously, that was the top three marquee matchup um, between the top three teams. I mean, um, Gen G uh, really showed up, and I was very impressed with them. Um, and they're going up against Lift Sandbox, who's also been a pretty hot streak, um, in my opinion. They've been playing pretty well or in just a pretty decent form, actually, with Closer and uh, Whittler playing pretty well at jungle mid position. But they have a tall task today because they're going up against, as you guys know, Peanut and Chovy. And Peanut has been playing as the best jungler in the LCK over Canyon, over Owner, anybody in the LCK. Peanut has been the best statistically. So, uh, you know, that gives automatically gives Genji a really, really good chance to win this matchup. 
obviously every single lane except for maybe in the top lane uh i think i mean bird all is okay i think doran still has a good edge there and then pays envy maybe the bottom lane is the one that i'm a little concerned about after rulers the you know departure from genji um pays actually has been up and down a little bit but the last couple of weeks he's been pretty solid so i'll have to give it to genji to win here win here but you know like I said, it could be a potential letdown spot, um, but I'll get I'll tell you why Sandbox is a bad GPP play from the DFS standpoint, because they actually they actually carry the lowest combined kills per minute metric on the slate amongst all eight teams, it's sitting at 0.56, and that can be attributed to the, to like they're you know wanting to a you know slower uh, pace of play in their matchups, but all, and also maybe some opponents um, played a role in it, but we have a pretty good sizable sample now in the LCK, and it's more due to the fact that Left Sandbox wants to play slow, and um, you know, given that, you know, even if Sandbox wins, I don't think they'll score well. I don't think their players will score well, so I just feel like Sandbox does not make a good GPP uh, play tonight, so... And then, as mentioned, the other LCK matchup between KT and KDF has the lowest uh, kill upside overall. So maybe it's the LPL. I mean, it's it's always, it's always, almost always LPL uh, slate where you stack LPL teams and hope that, you know, they you get the right, right winning teams and right winning stacks. And today is more like that, uh, more so like that because of these lower ceilings for these uh korean teams um on the slate so yeah that's all i got for you guys today if you guys have any other questions or just want to chat league feel free to reach out at dfs chan again if you like the video please please hit the thumbs up button below otherwise yeah good luck out there and let's make some money have a good one bye-bye